Good morning, everyone. How are you doing on this beautiful 32 degree Ohio day? Good morning, guys. It was only a matter of time that this temperature was going to dip back down, but hey, it's Ohio. It's still winter, so. Hey, I'm not complaining, yeah. honestly, about 32. No. Now, it's not 62, 63 like we had last <laughs> week, but it's also not negative. No. So, it's not. uh, we're it, snowing yet. Yeah, it is what it is. We do have a chance tonight for some of the white stuff, but even as warm as it's been yesterday, it was like 47, you know, I don't foresee it doing a whole lot, yeah. but we're gonna do a whole lot. And uh, what we're doing is a potential, I'll say it like that, potential part of what TQ and myself are gonna consider our retirement plan, or at least a form of retirement or supplemental income. And uh, that is expanding Spencer storage. And uh, yeah, we're currently driving right now to uh, go check a facility out. This one's, this one's got a lot of issues. So a gentleman let us inside to check it out real quick. It's uh, like I said, it's got a lot of maintenance issues. I'll say it like that. Uh, a lot of trash. Unfortunately, people will dump wherever they think they possibly can and get away with it. Uh, it does come with a lot of acres. There's nine acres here. There uh, is big signage as well that comes with it, a rental portion that comes with it. The biggest thing is it's not, it's got a ton of competition. It's not being marketed well. The previous owner has passed away, rest his soul. And uh, our thoughts and prayers go to that family as well. And uh, you know, nice place built in 2016 just not maintained a lot of trash a lot of trash a lot of weeds which weeds are and on a gravel spot like this just like our other facility you're always battling the weeds unfortunately uh, we've come to find a pretty decent solution to help keep down on them this one has a lot of moss I'll be honest with you so it has weeds but then a ton of moss so I'd come in and I'd just regrade this entire area, maybe even just till it, get rid of the weeds. Like I said, 44 units. They have all these columns along the back, probably just to uh, make sure nobody backs into the fence. It has a gate here. There is an Ohio wetlands area that comes right through here as well, unfortunately. So if you wanted to expand, you gotta go uh, east, I believe it was, or you have to go west. You're not going to go back, even though the strip of wetlands is like right here. And then back there is the rest of the nine acres. Uh, this is the center. TQ and that gentleman's talking out, talking about a unit up there. The center of it, this looks pretty decent. Probably a more trafficked area. Definitely looks like the water pitches down pretty heavily. Probably runs right out that back gate area. Nice buildings, really nice buildings. Need some pressure washing, like I said, the weeds. Over here is where I think for expansion would have to be. Unfortunately, it's the narrowest part. So I think maybe you might have to go horizontal rather than vertical like those two, or you'd have to do two smaller buildings, so. Right up through there, you can tell that's kind of where they put the material from this location. But it's pretty clear over there. They got a few dumpsters in here, so that tells me, you know, probably a lot of vacancies. But with the gentleman passing, he uh, probably wasn't able to stay on top of rents, on top of the tenants paying. And unfortunately, things become... You know, they get out of hand very quickly. So they probably had to do a ton of evictions or that's what they're getting ready to do. <clears throat> there are a few units that are open that you can look in. See some locks here busted off, which stinks because these are actually really hard to uh, they're hard to maintain and somebody just cut that one clean off. 
See, normally you would come in and just cut the lock. Is that unit out open? Found one down there that cut it off. Huh? Found one down there that cut it off. So the lighting, yeah, the lighting in here is on, on the timer. That's what that is. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Okay. So you can just you shut off the light. It must be quick. Well, I shut well that's good. I guess it. nobody can leave it on then. Yeah, but still, I'm surprised. You can leave it off and let your things run as well. Yeah. I think that's a little bit. Oh, yeah. <laughs> is this the only one open? I think there's a, there's a we just opened it. It's full. It's full of garbage. <laughs> okay. Big cushions and chairs. Yeah, that's been in here a long time. Yeah, junk. Yeah, all junk. But here again, legally, you still have to <laughs> exactly. you know, notify or you just can't up and throw things out of there. No, you got to go through the process, unfortunately. Right. right. You know, which is a headache. Yeah. You know you're not going to get in the sky. Oh, no. Not at all. I'm just trying to think of which way would be the better way if you did want you need to expand it to make any money if you can get the occupancy. I'm I'm surprised he's when he put his fence in he didn't go ahead and you know, put the fence as far as he could. Yeah. I'm wondering if that wetland creeped back up. I don't remember in the video or in the uh on the website, but if it creeps back up there you gotta be a so many feet off that wetland. Well, it looks like there's a bunch of debris just here. Yeah, I can see them cattails. Even though it's all dumped. Right. He keeps it, he keeps all these are the one fenced in units. For sure. Yeah, if you can move it down to that pole down there, that would definitely boost your income some. All right, so a lot of potential here, but also a ton of work. Uh, the gentleman's gonna see if we can get back out. He, uh, he let us in. We believe the weight works for the gate, so we're gonna find out that's a, a big cost. Like, you don't realize, like, one of these gates here, you know, being electronically, you know, monitored and installed with the, the code, mm -hmm. you're you're talking right now that that gate system, not including the fence, just the gate system, you're probably 25 grand easy. Probably way more than that, probably 50. It's, uh, it's expensive, so we're gonna, check to see if the weight which is we know the weights right here so we're gonna see if it opens up when he pulls his truck onto it this guy was awesome he's an investor as well he's looking to buy it as well and uh yep i heard it click there it goes let's walk out and go down that way savannah So you can see trash that last week we came none of that was even there so somebody dumped since then i think we could hedge trim that up a little bit huh <laughs> a little bit <laughs> so where we want to look we pulled up on the the map for the ohio wetlands and we can see where it kind of goes there is a strip in the back, but it doesn't show anything off to the side here where a ton of dumping has happened, unfortunately. It's unfortunate people do this. A 
brick block. Yeah, all this is going to have to be dumpstered out of here. Whole pile of shingles. You can see there was something here. It all got covered up. A ton of concrete, probably from a walkway or something like that. Another pile. What'd you say, TQ? There's deer scat. Yeah. At least the gate's operational. He said they did do some maintenances to get it up to par. So where we're currently standing, this is all the fill from when they put those in. So you can kind of see here, this will give you an idea. So this is all fill from where they originally put this in, brought it up probably, I'd say at least 10 feet. Okay, some slag. Now this is the original ground level here. See that big old tree? Firm though, nice and firm, not soft. But you can see up there where TQ is. Wave to him, TQ, so they can see you. Probably 10, 12 feet of elevation they brought in. Nice big old, looks like an oak, I can't tell. Another one. So like I said, there's nine acres. All right, so we're back out here. I think this is the prime area if you wanted to expand. I mean, it's pretty solid. It's not, there's no saturation or anything. Right, come in and just do a whole nother building like what's there right now. <clears throat> just one. I don't know if you would get away with two. I'm gonna walk out to the road and look up. Or just open it up to uh, outdoor parking storage. Yeah, that's an option as well. Covered outdoor parking or maybe even just trailers or whatever. I have We have a ton of different ideas if we can get it for the right number, how we can utilize this place. But right now guys, storage is insane. Somebody took the uh, power box out. Goes a load of timber. So the way I understand it, is it goes there's an oil pump oil tank i believe it goes right to about there a lot of glass a lot of glass it's kind of hoping they had it surveyed but i don't see any survey marker at all telephone pole it's kind of an odd place for a telephone pole I wonder if there was another house here at some point I'll have to look back on the the maps and see yeah I was kind of hoping there was a stake or something up there but I'm not going to walk all the way up there but it's a big strip here nine acres now watch my back here too this this highway is no joke whatsoever. You guys seen that Jeep that just went by and a lot of these rural areas, they actually use Jeeps for the uh, mail service, the US Postal Service. A lot of these areas, the roads are very rough. Hmm. So you got, this is actually a little bit of what's on our property. It's an evasive, I believe it's called like Fragmite, Fragmites, Frag, I don't remember the exact term for it. Gives you the illusion of cattails, but it's not, they actually, want that stuff gone because it spreads everywhere like I cut a little piece of ours down and it spread probably 20 feet just from where I cut it not knowing that it would spread like that and where it's shot it uh it spread it very easy so
wonder why we're going so into detail with this video. This is a big part of lawn care landscaping and everything, guys, that nobody talks about is your retirement, you know? Unless you're investing into 401k or, you know, Roth or whatever. You gotta think long-term, you know? I'm coming up on 40. 20 more years, you know, when I go to retire, you gotta have something there. Real estate is a really good choice if done properly. Not saying you should be doing this or that. You do your thing, I'm gonna do my thing. But uh, we are thinking long-term, how we can, you know, retire. We're not gonna do lawn care forever. And, uh, you know, have a lifestyle outside of work. What'd you think down there? Uh, just the billboard and more woods. I mean, no markers or anything. Tiki walked this way to check see if there's. Really, we're just looking for. To see where they kind of manage the lawn. Okay. And what did they say for the billboard? Ten percent commission. Yeah. You get a monthly ten percent commission for the billboard, which. What do you guys think? We put Spencer Lawn Care up on that billboard. Spencer storage. I mean, you can pretty much put whatever you want up there, I guess. I'm just looking for anything that kind of gives me an idea of a property marker. <coughs> this is really actually nice woods here. A lot more dumping, unfortunately. Yeah, I don't they didn't definitely mark it whatsoever. So the way I understand it, the owner passed away, relative inherited, they have no interest or whatever of continuing this business. So therefore they're trying to sell it. And uh, you know, that's part of life as well. You know, you you buy things, you invest in things. And it doesn't mean you hold on to them forever. You sell them. So, pretty decent fence. I'd probably come in and just uh, go ahead and put razor wire around the top of it just to, you know, finish off the security side of it. There's a few poles and stuff that need replaced. But overall, I mean, other than probably need a day worth of cleaning up the, just the trash that have blown off the vehicles here, but yeah, some of you longtime subscribers don't know that we came here a couple years ago and we tried this calling. It was when we were really getting into storage before we even found our other facility. But first impressions, real quick, TQ. Um, it's got some, it needs some work. It's got, it got a lot of work to be done, but I think there's a lot of potential there for sure mm -hmm. going off to if you're facing it the right side but um, we can do possibly we'll have to check on permits and whatever but um, possibly another building or outdoor parking storage which a lot of people are looking to park boats RVs you know what have you so I think there's some potential there yeah I'm thinking oh definitely <laughs> definitely that's <laughs> why I just told them a whole day worth of just picking up trash maybe more but uh <laughs> Yeah, I, I have some other ideas. I'll hold those back just in case we do happen to get it because obviously we'll have to jump through hoops and everything. You got to play the government game. But uh, potential. Yeah. We'll see if we get it, guys. Stay tuned. We are going to record the auctions side of it. I already have my number that I'm willing to go to. If it goes above that, we don't get connected to these things. It's unfortunate. We would love to get it, but we don't get connected to it. You just move on with life. And if it's right, right with God it'll work so exactly. yeah we're gonna move on here we got a ton of stuff to get done today just got back home here sitting down at the computer so if you can make out here current bid is 197.5 well you got to remember there's a 10 percent premium so right now it's at nineteen thousand seven hundred and fifty dollars so we're going to go ahead and bid 200 Brings you down here. This basically shows you everything. There's an hour and 27 minutes left. And we're gonna go ahead and place bid. Bid is placed. 
currently the now high bidder. This is gonna keep on going up. So we have our top out number, and like we explained earlier when we drove down there, uh, simply if it goes above that, we're out. That's just how we play the game. We kind of know where we need to be, and you know we're not gonna exceed that. So we'll see. We got a little bit of wiggle room still, and yeah, we'll go from there. All right, guys, don't mind Sean Boy in the background. He's playing VR right now. We're gonna go one more time. Place bid. We'll see how fast. It's been pretty much between 50, 28 and myself right now. So we got four minutes, 23 seconds. So if you guys see it just went up again. See, it resets every time. If you guys didn't notice, because we're at the end here, it's supposed to end at five. But every time somebody bids, it goes back to five minutes. One minute, 56 seconds. And this is the thing, when, a, when an auction ends, you sit here and you go, 10 grand, 10 grand. Like, I, you know, would have 10 grand did it? I don't know, nobody else has bidden but me and this guy. To give you an example, that's me, 5044, he's 5013. That's it. That's it for me. I said my number. I'm done. If it goes above that, oh, go. I'm out. And it didn't take long. So this is what you do. As much as I wanted it, it was really cool, really awesome. I played my hand. And currently... 5013, that was me. I, I placed at 251 with the 10%. That would have put me right at my number, which was 275. And right now, yeah, we're a little bit above that. 5013 seems like he's he's really won it. Like soon as soon as I bid, he bids. Then this 50 uh, 5015, he's been bidding pretty actively as well. I'm going to see if they keep going back and forth. And uh, it's just part of it. It's part of it. I'm going to keep you guys here for the ending. See where it goes. I told everybody I thought it could go for $300,000. Uh, talking with the older gentleman there, that it's exactly the number I told him. But it's just part of business, you know. Got to make more money, Sean. Got to make more money. 5013 really wants it. He's invested. Yeah. And just do it one more time, and then he'll take it. Well, we don't want to do that. Or do we? No. <laughs> Keep bidding. I don't get emotional. No, I think we're good. We're good. I mean, we don't have to have it. So right now with everything, you're at 309,000 roughly. So right now you'd need just under 31,000 today. Now to get a commercial loan is 30% down. So what you would do is you take 309 minus 30, 279. So you'd have 279,000, 30% of that. Uh, so you're 20, we'll say 28,000. 28,000 times three roughly. You need an additional 84,000 and somebody just hit again. <laughs> All right guys, 10 seconds. 5015's got it right now. Oh, oh there he goes. He definitely did on purpose. Is it, wow. two, is it 5013? He literally waited till five seconds left. No, oh, it's somebody someone different. Knew. What the heck? 5008. 50, 50, Six, five, four. Oh, <laughs> that was a jerk move. <laughs> oh, 5008 went to 300,000. Four, three, two, one. 
Game over. Pending. So you take that 300,000, 10% seller's premium on top of that, $330,000 even. Your total investment before anything, you're looking at you know $120,000 with the 10% premium on top, which you have to pay today. And then an additional, you got 45 days to close on a commercial. Well, for this one, uh, you know, an, an additional 90,000. So yeah, good business day. Uh, we didn't get it. We move on to the next business deal. Not every deal you're gonna get in land. So I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. It was exciting. It was a lot of fun and a lot of learning as well. As always, keep mowing, keep growing, keep making money, boys. We'll talk to you later. TQ out, peace, bye-bye.